special artist guest of honor, Rico Kraft. Would you please come to the honor? Welcome back up onto the stage. Thank it's great to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I really enjoy it because it's a, a east is sort of dark and everybody walking at 45 degree angle. So it's a really angry face. And this is really sweet and uh, especially with that Patricia Makire. My life literally changed. It's different. I, I walk with probably I would be walking a different way. It really I, I really truly mean it. I don't know which is you know wh which way I go went, but um, it really um, whatever you wrote, it taught me awfully lots of things. And I truly enjoy it each time you do so that uh, I hope you fill up your a uh, fountain of uh, imagination quickly. And I hope I can meet her again while one of us and both of us are alive. You know, it's, it's, it's kind, of, kind of close. So. <laughs> so this year you were out here and we had a, a large art show and you had to go through and sample and see a lot of different kinds of arts and do, yes. do classes and, and, and panels and workshops. Yes. Um, how was that experience for you? I always learned something from um, everybody's work. And it, it's something I discovered, something I don't have. And so it's always nourishing to me. It's, it, it's very important to go out and see what somebody else's imagination is doing. So if I'm, if I'm hearing you right, it's not just an artist working in isolation, but working and touching with other people and other artists. Yes, and yes. Competing that way, like you and authors do. That's right. Uh, and the uh, opportunity like that really provides wonderful, um, different insight. So for me, it's terribly important. Um, it's sort of, just give me this another energy to, yeah, I have to go back and uh, face the reality, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's a really give me some sort of um, um, different outlook. And while you're at the convention, you met a lot of aspiring artists and people who are learning and yes. studying. Yes. You want us to share about your experience in, with that? Yes, I do. And uh, uh, we exchange your, um, how we do certain things, and also that it's a it's an ever changing world. So that it's how to everybody in a variety of uh, uh, people with variety of age. That will uh, that will give me this a different outlook, different way of looking things, and it really do help exchange of those that, that's happening. Um, I just wanted to say that um, I had a very busy weekend. Today was the first day I got to visit the art show and loved seeing the beautiful pieces that you brought. And I, I want to thank you for bringing all these beautiful, beautiful pieces to share in our gallery. Um, looking at um, these beautiful interpretations of classic fairy tales um, and, and just the, the light and the magic that you imbue in them, it's, it's really, it's really incredible. And also, um, for how delicate they are, there's a, a lot of passion uh, behind that that certainly comes through in the painting. And it's, um, it's a really, very impressive collection that you brought and the prints that you brought for sale, too. Thank you so very much for doing that. That was great. Thank you. Teach 
when most people were illiterate, that we had fairy tales that were life, important life lessons. They weren't just Disney cartoon fodder. They were real important things. And, and you obviously have a real affinity. What if, how do you feel about the material that you work with, the, the fairy tales, and, and do, they, do you feel they still have a life lessons for us today? You know, the fairy tales, uh, um, I, I really feel that uh, um, fairy tales is still here because it says all those fairy tales has uh, some sort of um, regular people's hope and uh, wish uh, uh, form that sort of fairy tale. But it's uh, the medieval story has uh, some sort of uh, a problem to um, for using straight, straight medieval story into now because uh, uh, like Cinderella, because she was beautiful. So what happened to the next rest of us? You know, so <laughs> we were born unfortunately born in a different uh, look and not that beautiful. So that problem is right there. And because of she was beautiful, she get the prince charming. And it's not fair. So I have to, <laughs> yeah. I have to adjust that. <laughs> and, and, and also, she gets married and happily ever after. That can't be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the problem starts. The real stuff starts after that. And so um, we have to, I, I sort of ask the um, uh, editor at, at that point. And they get married and they happy ever after is fake, I said. And so the, can't you do something about that? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he she sheed me and so that they really just couldn't do it. But uh, uh, I really feel that that part has to be clarified. Uh, today's story. Wonderful. Well, when they do re-clarify and go on to what happened after, happily ever after, I hope you're there to illustrate it. Thank you so very much for coming.